Good morning, St. Thomas More. Uh, this is the first time I had a chance to talk to you this week uh, since we declared the outbreak over. So I just wanted to do a very quick State of the Union on that. You know, we're down to zero cases, which is awesome. Uh, and I just want to just make sure that we remain now vigilant now that we've got to that point so we can stay that way. And so again, my four reminders are number one, if you're feeling sick, stay home, do that screening. And if you're not sure, stay home one day at home. It's not going to hurt anything. But uh, you know, if you come to school sick, it can cause a real problem. Um, number two, try to as best you can keep your distance from people. Wash your number three is wash your hands. And number four, something I think has been maybe the key to everything around here is wearing your mask properly. Just please uh, wear it properly over the nose, under the chin at all times in the school. And I know we're all getting tired of this. Uh, nevertheless, it's what's keeping us safe. Um, now, moving on, I want to get to a few congratulations. I just want to go around the room on uh, some of the sports teams. So the baseball team yesterday, uh, semifinal win. Congratulations to them and Coach Silvestri and all the other coaches and the players for their dramatic 2-1 win over St. Mary's. They're going to the championship next Tuesday. We're going to find out today who they're going to play. I want to congratulate the girls field hockey team. They're into the semi, first place team, uh, and they're playing that tomorrow. Um, they quickly run through the other sports. They're in mid-season. Senior, senior boys volleyball is actually sitting in the middle of the pack, but they're like a statistical anomaly. They have a very good plus minus, but the record's not great. So we know that they're going to be dangerous come playoff time, and I want to thank the coaches for doing that. Uh, junior, junior boys volleyball sitting in first place. Junior girls basketball in first place. Tied right now, but uh, the, the points are, are leaning our way. And senior girls basketball is sitting in the middle of the pack, but they've had a tough schedule and they are probably amongst the top two or three teams, I would say for sure. And finally, of course, uh, we don't want to forget our junior and senior boys football teams that are continuing St. Thomas More tradition and showing themselves to be the best teams in the league. And I hope that they can keep that up. Uh, finally, just a little wrap up with a thank you. Like we do have to be, we have to realize this. So here are some things I'm thankful for. I just want to make sure like, we're thankful that we have zero cases, but I'm most thankful that we had 10 cases and they've all returned healthy. Uh, that is something to be thankful for. I want to be thankful for our sports and the extras that the teachers and the staff offer us. All of these things are major projects in the middle of COVID, which probably double the work that it normally would be. And there are cities and regions that are running zero sports. So although maybe it's not perfect, we know we, we all wish there were fans there. It's not everything's perfect right now, but we're getting there and we have to be thankful for the, the commitment of our staff uh, who are willing to uh, deliver all these things to you as a student body. And finally, I just want to say thanks to the student body for listening to my announcement last Friday for the football game. I really appreciated that by and large, the vast majority of the St. Thomas More students did what they were supposed to do, stayed away from the game. I'm going to ask you to continue to do that until further notice, but it's not something that's lost on me that what I'm asking for is difficult. Um, however, it's a long season. We're going into game two tomorrow at two and four. We have a night game next week and we're likely going to be hosting playoff games. So if we want, we have to continue to hope that uh, we will get the go ahead to have student fans. I'm hoping for that. Um, but when we do that, we're going to have to uh, prove that we can do it responsibly. And we're proving that by doing these ones responsibly. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day at school. Uh, I want to just shout out the teachers. You guys are working very, very hard. I understand it. Uh, it's very difficult what you're going through with hybrid, with uh, some of you five hours of teaching, prepping, marking, everything else. It's a big challenge uh, and you've risen to it. And I'm proud of you as your principal. So with that, have a wonderful day. Hey STM, my name is Imani and I'm here for your morning announcements. To those students who expressed interest in helping behind the scenes at the Seymour Studio, please check your school email for the schedule. Do you need Christian service hours? Would you like an opportunity to earn up to 12 hours by participating in two virtual charity events? The Terry Fox Run and the Run for Rachel are two very worthy causes. Check the ad wall or the Board Christian Service website at www.hwcdsb.com.
cs.com for registration information. You will need to register and fundraise a minimum of $25 to earn your hours. If there are any financial barriers in raising money or donating, please see Ms. D. Giovanni or Ms. Diamond in Student Success Confidentially. Also, if you have any questions about these or other volunteer opportunities, you can speak to your guidance counselor, student service teacher, Ms. Pongetti, Mr. Pongetti, or you can check out the board's Christian service website. And now for your sports. The STM baseball team played their semifinal game yesterday against St. Mary. The team was down one nothing until they rallied back to score two runs in the bottom of the final inning. Special shout out goes to Alex Van Ray, who pitched an outstanding seventh seven strike out in the four hitless inning and even managed to steal a base that led to one winning run. Another shout out goes to Carter Hand, who was three for three in all of his bats and pitched the last three innings. It was his clutch walk off, single in the bottom of the seventh inning that scored the two winning runs. The team will play the championship game on Tuesday at Bernie Harbor Stadium against the winning the winner of the Newman and VT game. Go Knights, go. Hey STM, I'm Josiah and I'm your Vice President here from your Student Council. We are happy to announce that our vintage and exclusive spirit wear is now available through your school cash online accounts. Just a reminder that you can access your account through the HWCDSB website. These exclusive items are something you'll do not want to miss out on. Like I said before, when you put it on, you're going to feel proper rocking that exclusive STM spirit wear. But so now let's talk food drive. I just want to give one last thank you to everyone who participated in donating in this year's food drive. You guys helping those in need made STM proud. But now let's talk winners. In third place for the competition is Mr. Marcelli's class. In second place, we have Miss Paradisi. And in first, we have Miss Newberry. Congratulations, Miss Newberry's class. You guys have won yourselves a donut party. Student Council will be in contact with your teacher and get that to you guys as soon as possible. All right, this announcement is important, so I want all of you to listen up right now. Off your phones and listen up. Tomorrow is Pink Shirt Day in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We all did so good with the Orange Shirt Day, so now I want all of you guys to go off tomorrow. I want to see all of you guys in pink, as many as possible, so that we can show our support to those who have been affected by breast cancer. Like I'll even pull up to school with pink shoes on, and if I can be this dedicated, you can too. So let's make it happen, STM. And lastly, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and our new TikTok, both at STM underscore council, and our Twitter at STM underscore nights. Thank you, STM, and have a fantastic Thursday. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.23. Have, have a, a great, great day. day.